Wow. Brand new Rasmussen Reports polling shows Republican Pat Toomey maintaining his lead over Democrat Joe Sestak in Pennsylvania's U.S. Senate race. Here, let's uh, look at the numbers now. Toomey favored by 45% of those surveyed. Sestak there with 39% of the support. So that six-point margin for Toomey is actually down a single digit from a Rasmussen poll we showed you a couple of weeks ago. Overall, though, his lead has been pretty consistent for several months. Not a lot changing here. So we asked our Bruce Gordon to join us. Uh, he's crunching numbers. Bruce, on the surface, I guess it's good news for Toomey, right? Yeah, absolutely. A consistent lead for the Republican nominee. That's right. the good news. Toomey's been spending lots of money on a rare summertime TV blitz of attack ads, and they may actually be moving the needle a bit. 39% of those polled by Rasmussen described Sestak's views as extreme, 27% called Toomey extreme. Sestak came from way back to win the Democratic primary. Where does he find the, the good news in these numbers? Uh, two areas, I guess. Despite that Toomey ad blitz, Sestak's deficit actually hasn't grown larger. So we said the numbers have been consistent. Mm -hmm. That's the good news for Sestak. Second, and this actually seems kind of inconsistent with the internal numbers we shared with you a moment ago, 27% of those polled describe Sestak as politically moderate. Just 16% see Toomey as a moderate. And of course, in Pennsylvania, moderation wins elections. Yeah, we've seen that. All right, Bruce, let's look forward. What's next? What uh, moves this poll one way or the other? Well, barring a big controversy or scandal, it will be after Labor Day, no doubt, when Sestak is on TV to begin his air war. He, of course, hopes to drive up Toomey's negatives and close the gap. Of course, Toomey has a built-in advantage in this race. This Senate seat is technically open, but Sestak is viewed as an incumbent, of course, an incumbent congressman, and there is a big anti-incumbent move yeah, out there. We've seen that plenty of times. All right, Bruce Gordon, thank you so much. Sure. Has some of the content on